Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another McFarlane Toys review. This is Spartan Tanaka of Halo 5 Guardians Series 1. This figure is highly detailed, it's well painted and supposedly is highly articulated. There are however a few problems with the articulation that we'll go into shortly. Um, overall though, you get a fantastic rendition of Tanaka. So taking a closer look at Tanaka here, this pretty much highlights the kind of extreme pose that you can get in terms of the articulation, which you can see isn't that much. The arms are considerably better than Spartan Lock. Uh, she has no problem holding a weapon, uh, which is a lot better than a lot can say for Spartan Lock. However, the legs like his are extremely limited. This is pretty much as far as they will bend. Uh, there's not much in them at all. I've already had to twist this leg anyway, so you kind of see in the inside of the leg here. As you can see, the arm has been forced to the outside due to the articulation. And it just, it, it just doesn't bend much. That's kind of as good as it gets. So you can't really get many set down or crouch poses with Tanaka here. Which is a bit of a shame. Luckily she is a pretty sturdy figure though. So you, if you can get her in a bit of a pose. As you can see I've kind of got the legs angled ever so slightly. So at the very least it looks like she's taking a braced firing pose. Um, which does the job for me. Of course however it's not going to please some fans who are very specific on their articulation. Past the articulation, however, we have some fantastic painted details. We have the nice brown markings across her helmet. We have the nice blue ones as well in the lower section on the shoulders. The visor really does stand out with the kind of dark orangey red. Uh, really great colour. And then you have some fantastic sculpt work. You have all this nice sculpted detail with the Osiris logo on the shoulder pad. Some nice sculpted wiring and whatnot on the back of the technician armour. Really great figure in terms of details. Absolutely no complaints there. Like I say, it's just the legs that are slightly disappointing in terms of articulation. Uh, you can even highlight to the point that this is like one of the only Spartans that doesn't have articulated toes on the feet. Uh, they are just kind of static feet. They only have ball jointed ankles. Um, so you can't move the toes. It isn't like a game breaker in terms of articulation because you don't really move the toes that much. But it just gives you a picture of how they kind of scrimped in terms of articulation on this figure to the point that they actually cut some out. It's a bit of a shame, but like I say, the detail and the paintwork should be enough to kind of pull you over to liking this figure immensely. Snacker comes with the pistol as the secondary sidearm, which can be pulled off like so. That peg can be pulled out as well. Um, but past that, you just get a fantastic version of the Halo 5 pistol. It has got some sort of weathering effect on it. Absolutely great little piece, so I'm glad that this is included on every Spartan, as at one point you didn't even get a secondary weapon for any of these Spartans. Biggest downside for this figure, like Fred, however, is its weapon. I'm now dubbing this the uh, DMR of Doom. Um, it is just absolutely fragile. It, it's such a shame. You probably can't tell, but this scope has already been glued back in place. That snapped off um, just before I started this review. A uh, bit of a shame that happened. Um, the barrel, of course, is as delicate as the previous ones. Um, really is a shame that this has happened. Um, for this DMR weapon. It's one of my favourite weapons from the game. So to see it done so delicately to the point that I'm going to be always worried about this figure falling over or whatnot and getting caught, it is a bit of a shame. I would be very careful with this weapon if you get it. As I've highlighted with Fred, it, it can just break um, with very little touch applied. The weapon does, however, have some nice paint detail and sculpt. Um, it is just a shame about the fragility. So overall you get a fantastic rendition of Tanaka. The armor sculpt is absolutely fantastic. The paint details are perfect. There is no spill on there at all. And you get a nice black wash as well just to top it off. Um, the only downside is the primary weapon being so fragile. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, however, I just put the warning out there that just be careful with yours. Because as I said, mine already has a scope that broke off. Um, luckily, it can be glued on. But that can, can't be said for the barrel. So be very careful there. So overall, I'd recommend this figure. Um, because it is a fantastic figure. And it's good to see another member of the main cast. Um, just like I say, be careful of the DMR. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be reviewing more Halo, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed sets in the coming future. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!